welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is jasmine i make lifestyle and beauty videos if you're returning welcome as well thank you so much for your love and support i truly do appreciate it so for today's video i am going to be getting ready for a little birthday dinner that i have at my parents house today so i wanted to go ahead and just film today's video so this is the completed look it's something very simple super easy to do it's not going to take too long so if you want to know how i achieved this look go ahead and just keep on watching okay so i already started with my eyebrows off the camera but i did the same routine that i usually always do which is using my nyx professional makeup micro brow pencil and then just just to carve out my eyebrows, I went in with the NYX Full Coverage Concealer. And it's a pretty thick concealer, which is the reason why I only use it on my eyebrows instead of like under my eye. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start with the eyes. I'm going to go ahead and use my Morphe Eyelid Primer. So you guys know that I love using my NYX Eyelid Primer, but I thought I would change it up. So I went ahead and did this one today. So I'm going to put a little bit on my eyelid. This is also a really good eyelid primer, but personally, I prefer the NYX one just because I feel like that one never has failed me. This one, it depends. Like some eyeshadows, I feel like it does make it last like throughout the night. But with some eyeshadow palettes, like I feel like I start to like crease under that area and I don't really like it. I don't know why, but it's like sometimes it works for me and then sometimes it doesn't. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and just let that sit for a little bit. So for today's look, I'm going to be using the Dominique Cosmetic Latte Palette. So I literally love this palette so much. I think it's such a good formula. And I feel like the colors in here are just super, super pretty. So these are the colors. It's like a very neutral but with pop-up colors in there. So I feel like I'm just going to keep it very in the more neutral side for today i'm wearing blue but i don't really feel like using this blue right here just because it's a little bit more darker so i think i'm gonna go in first with the shade caramel which is this one right here and i'm gonna put that all over my eyelid just to really set that eyelid primer i'm gonna go ahead and just dab that all over Okay, now we're going to go in with this shade right here, which is Pumpkin Spice. And I'm going to put that only on the crease area. I'm going to go ahead and use a fluffy blending brush and then just kind of just blend these colors together. I'm going to go in with Macchiato, which is this one right on this area right here. And then I'm going to put that on the first, like, half of my eyelid. I think this color is so, so pretty. On the eyelids and i feel like it just stands out so much you could also do a cut crease but i'm just not very good at it which is the reason why i don't even try to do it at least on camera like i'll go ahead and practice off camera but it's really hard props to you guys that are experts at that now i'm gonna go in with this one right here and put that on actually no i'm gonna go in with this one actually it's a little bit darker and put that on the outer corner and then with a smaller crease brush i'm gonna go back in with that caramel and then just focus this on the crease area now for eyelashes, I'm going to be using the Eyler number 126, which like this. You guys know that I mentioned this in my favorites, in my monthly favorites video because they are super, super good. And I have been obsessed with the beauty creation ones as well, but I wanted to go ahead and change it up and do some drugstore ones. So I'm going to be going in with my Kiss Adhesive Glue. And I'm just going to go ahead and just set that. like that 
it is seriously super super easy and then i'm just gonna go ahead and use some clips to just really secure the eyelash Aren't they so pretty? I feel like they just make my eyes look so much more awake and it just makes the eyeshadows stand out so much more. So now we're going to go ahead and do the face area, which is literally my favorite part to do. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the Smashbox Primer Water, which looks like this. I really love this. I feel like it really does help prolong my makeup. And it literally feels so refreshing on the skin so we're gonna go ahead and just let this sink into our skin for a few minutes before we go in with a primer and then for primer I'm gonna be using the Smashbox photo finish primerizer which looks like this this honestly feels so good on the skin it's so moisturizing it's so hydrating and it literally dissolves within seconds so I'm going to go ahead and put this all over my face. So I'm going to go ahead and rub them in my fingers and then apply them all over or apply it. And like I mentioned before, at first it does feel like very liquidy, but the more you massage it into your skin, the more it becomes like that moisturizer consistency. You do want to wait to let that kind of sink into your skin as well before you go in with like the next product so i know that on video it looks like i'm applying it like one after the other but i do wait at least a minute just to make sure that it's sinking into my skin before i go in with like the next product so i do go in with a couple of primers just because i want to make sure that my makeup is going to last a very long time where i live it is super hot today it's going to be about 118 120 so I want to make sure that my makeup isn't just falling off my skin. So I am going to use quite a couple of primers. So just so you know. So the first one that I'm going to use is the Haley's Primer. This literally is so good on the skin. It really smooths out your skin so nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit to my hand. Well, a lot of it actually. And I'm just going to go ahead and just rub this into the skin. And this feels so good. It just smooths out your skin so nicely. And everything is just so even for when you go in with your foundation. And I feel like this really does help with the um, foundation. We are going to be using a Haley's foundation today. And these two together are like magic. If you guys have not shopped at Haley's Beauty, you guys really need to. I'm seriously so in love with the company. Their products are actually really good for the skin as well. So definitely recommend you guys checking them out. And they always do like giveaways on their Instagram. So if you're not following them, definitely go ahead and follow them. I think I've won like one giveaway from them and it was like a free foundation which is really really awesome so definitely go ahead and check them out so now that our face is prepped and it's ready for foundation so i'm gonna go in with the haley's foundation this is the Lux luminous foundation i know they do have a matte one as well which i am going to be doing a review soon so you guys are going to see my thoughts on that one but i do have two of them i have them in 2.50 and also 3.25 I'm going to go in with a Haley's Beauty sponge. And don't worry about the color. It honestly looks a lot better in person than on camera. It is so good. And it feels so lightweight on the skin. Like, I don't even feel like I'm wearing, like, a ton of makeup. And I believe this foundation is about $20, which I feel like it's a really good price compared to, like, other foundations. Especially because, like, the ingredients that it has in it is really good for the skin. So it's like a win-win. So now we're going to go in with concealer. And I'm going to be using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. This has been my ultimate favorite. Just because it's so creamy and it just blends very, very nicely. I'm going to apply that just under my eyes. So another Haley's Beauty product that I honestly love. It's their retouch perfecting loose setting powder this honestly is so so good i recently just tried it out this is one of the products that i literally had to open when i ordered from them because i have been waiting for this to be restocked for the longest time and it finally is and it is amazing like the hype for this setting powder is 
so true like it literally leaves your skin looking so nice and so smoothed out I just went ahead and put some on the back of the cap and then I'm gonna go ahead and just set my eyes with this I'm gonna leave that in there for a little bit while I set the rest of my face with the same powder I'm telling you guys, if you guys don't have this, you need to go and get it. It literally leaves your skin looking so smooth. And it literally makes you look like how they say, like an Instagram filter. It just smooths out your skin so nicely. And it doesn't even look drying or anything like that. So like I said, if you guys have not gotten this, definitely go ahead and get it. Because literally, it's going to change your whole makeup game. So now let's go ahead and just add some color back into our skin. I'm going to go in with the Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. And this literally is my favorite bronzer to use because it looks so smooth on the skin. And it doesn't really, it just goes on so nicely. And now for the cheeks, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Meteorite Color. It's like this beautiful, like, pinkish, brownish, like, blush. And then for highlighter, I have been obsessed with the Koki highlighters. This one's in the shade Heavenly. These literally have been my ultimate favorite. It looks so good on the skin. Now we're going to go ahead and go back into the eye area just to put some color underneath. And I'm going to go in with this color right here, which is the Pumpkin Spice. And then going back with that highlighter, I'm just going to put some in my inner corners. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Essence Extreme Last Liner. I'm gonna do this off camera because I make the most weirdest faces. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the brows. I'm gonna be using the Elf Wow Brow, which is this one right here. And then just setting my eyebrows. I'm gonna go ahead and just outline my lips. And I'm gonna go in with the Milani Color Statement Liner in the shade 03 which is this one right here. Now I'm going to go in with my Essence Lipstick in the shade This Is Nude. And then I'm going to go ahead and set my makeup with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I'm going to go in with my Essence Lash Princess Mascara and I'm going to apply this on my lower lashes and this is the completed look. I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe down below to be part of my journey here on YouTube. Don't forget to hit that post notification button to be notified every time I post a new video and I'll go ahead and see you guys on the next one. Bye guys!